Hello everyone, so this is my tray for this project and I feel like the tray is actually a little small, I might upgrade to a bigger one. Um, this is a complex project. I'm not 100% sure how this project is going to play out. Today I'm hoping to make a little connector piece with one of these to connect these two together. Um, after that, I think I'm going to start on the main opal um, centerpiece, and then we'll just start knocking out these different pieces. So, um, I don't know that I'm going to record the experimentation, but when I get, when I figure out exactly what I'm doing, it'll probably be after this first one, we'll, uh, do another video. Alright, so, step one. Take a drink of whatever it is you're, drink, you're drinking. I drink Monster. Because you're probably going to forget to take a drink for a minute. Seems to be how this goes. Now, for this particular design... I, I'm conflicted right now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to split from here back and it's going to start becoming the choker. Believe it or not. This here is going to be the inside. Well, because it's going to be a single strand. And then I'm going to have like an inch of chain. So, now to do a design to split these. Hey guys. So, we're working on stations. For one of our station necklaces um if i seem a little short this is my third attempt at one of these um i'm gonna do my best to control the language but i am freaking annoyed right now with this um <sighs> first one i made a small mistake in the beginning and it made it so the flow went the opposite direction that I was wanting it to go and therefore the piece was not usable for this project at least at least that piece was salvageable then I just had one of my prongs decide that it didn't like the size it was and so or it didn't like want to be like the everybody else or something I, I'm not sure what its malfunction was but, um, when I decided, okay, hey, I can probably fix this, it decided, nope, snap. I had to delete that video right then and there because I'm sure there are laws on the internet about cursing that much in a video. That, and I just didn't want to sound like I was some deranged, oh, God. The amount of anger. Plus, like, if this one doesn't go right, I'm I'm burnt. I've gone through uh, somehow ten foot of this stuff here. I don't even know where. I haven't even used it in any projects. Don't understand. So, it seems like this takes like two and a half foot for some reason altogether even though i'm only cutting off like five and a half six inch chunks four and three of them and like there's only two 20 gauge stations involved so i'm really not sure where all the metal goes i think i got little gremlins that come steal it So yeah, we uh, we fold both of them up. Sorry, I did much better in the last one. 
top level we fold both of these straight up while folding these down um, we've got our 22 gauge holding it together don't worry this isn't gonna be the first or the only station I build in this tutorial so we'll do this one more time I just figured this would be the best one to do it on because it was the biggest one I'm starting to feel like that might have been a flawed assumption. First one went, like, pretty well. <laughs> Check out the live stream. Uh, tutorial number one, technically, for this. Where we did one of these in the beginning. And then we just counted out the stone weights and the rest. Um, so, yeah. You then fold them together like that. And then fold these back to parallel with your other, your middle, um, Take one, I, I had said, like, if you mess up on the size of one of these, you cannot unbend the top. And then in take two, I'm like, I messed up and I was like, oh, I, maybe I can unbend the top. And instead of just. Button those.
It seems like if something can break on me, it, it will. So I'm not really risking it tonight. Oh, yeah. So that winging out that I needed to do, I'm going to do that now. I'll get these prongs to try to come together. Don't be too small. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop my stone in here. I'm kind of going to hold it upside down for a second. Okay. It's not liking something. Now, I'm going to need a piece of 20 gauge. Since I know I'm going to need that piece of 20 gauge, I'm just going to start out now. Wrap this piece of 20 gauge around. And then I'm going to flay these out. Now, I'm gonna look at this. I don't want it to go like that. So, I want this side. I'm going to bend this one back. <laughs> now, if I wanted the flow in the opposite direction, what I would be doing is setting it up on the other side. Or pulling from the other side, the wires from the other side. That... As oddly as it sounds, for this design, is what decides the direction of your flow.
It's in there. Then I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to twist it. A few times. Until it gets a very pronounced twist in it.
we're going to fold the Uh, I notice I'm gonna do some twisting around with this, but at the same time, Take these. I'm just going to do a nice little spiral with them up here. Before I take the excess one. I wrap this around for a little bit. It'll come in here in a minute. Now these don't have to be exactly the same, they're not going to be perfectly symmetrical, but it is nice to get them somewhat symmetrical. I'm going to leave that like that. Now, one thing I notice is I have... 24 gauge square
wrapped up in this. So I'm going to cut off nine inches or so of that. Take a second to look and see how I pulled that off. Appears that I have it partially like this. Cut that up on the inside of that. Basically, just tied it off there in hopes it would be a good spot to.
Okay, um, I mean, you pretty much get the idea with what's going on at this point. Um, I'm gonna have to cut some stuff out and make up some room for more, yeah. Alright, so now that we've made this, and that is pretty much going to be the same for this green one, it's just slightly different, you can kind of play around with it a bit, we're going to move forward, and what we're going to make next is a piece that has... I apologize for the camera's focus. Two loops on the back, and this is going to serve to split our um, strand into a double strand piece. This one focuses a little more on detailing a bit, and I played around with it a bunch, and yeah, I'll show you how this one's done, and we'll move on. I'm also not going to go through the entire thing like I did the last one. I'm basically going to, like, nearly time-lapse this piece. What's going to be needed? That little gem there. It's a peridot. But, I mean, use what you got. Alright, so, we're going to start by making ourselves that little circle underneath. Oh. <sighs> Sorry guys, this is like day three or four of shooting this tutorial now. Life has just been a little exhausting, so bear in there with me. We, we got this. And that's something that I got to point out. Like, This is not a short-term project. This is not something you're going to whip up five of in a day. If you are dedicated and you start at sun up and go till sundown, you might complete this. I've, I mean, and I've, to be fair, I've, I've completed one in like 16 hours or something once. Uh, but it was only a single strand, so it was a lot less complicated. I mean, anyway, we have this, we fold, it, it's, it's the same, like, seriously, the, the, this is the same as, this part's the exact same as the last piece that we made. With that said, it doesn't escape me that I had to shoot it three times yesterday, yeah, that's how that went, and so, I don't know if I did this part perfect on the one that we kept so yeah we you know wrap that bottom part stack the other pieces of square the i'm using 24 gauge for these my stations are smaller uh if god if i could only get a smaller wire <clears throat> Now that I have this like this, we're gonna, yeah, make the prongs. Just like the prongs in the last video. Why are you not, there we go. All right, we're going time lapse. Alright, so I'm closing these out, and I think I might be jumping ahead a bit, um, but I am closing, making a closing piece. It's like the uh, first one that is done. Let's see if I can't get that. So like that, it's like that, except for I've used a pair so that it almost looks like it's a, giving this slimming effect from two lines to one. This isn't going to be really any different than any of the others. And so the thing about these is that they, 
once you've learned that setting technique, you can pretty much edit it to make this whole thing. And that's why I've focused so much of this video on these. Coming up here, we'll do the like close out of it. I'm actually waiting on a Rio Grande order that has the rest of what I need pretty much. So we'll talk again soon. And I just want to throw a quick reminder at this point that, um, God dick. Besides the fact that you're trying to make pieces that match each other, they don't all have to match exactly each other. You can do sets and you can kind of play around with just a similar style and detail and it makes it really beautiful and unique. This is an experiment still, uh, even though I'm doing it in sterling and with some really nice stones. I do think in the future I will probably do one of these that's more insane somehow. Alright, so... I just want to point out, like, the detail, how this ended up. And I'm going to remember this next time I do, and I've got to, like, on the other side, I've got to do this the same way. But I just love how this detail turned out. Like, sometimes it, it really is about the detail. We have the two connectors back there. It's going to connect the two strands back into a single strand. So, the last piece that I need to show you guys is the one that's got the side uh, loop in it. So that's what I'm doing with it. Alright, so, from here, I've got one created already. And so, I'm just going to use that to decide that the the loop is going to be on this side since this is the top, that's the bottom and that's how I'm going to pull that off and there's going to be two of these like two full sets so there's you know two on this two on the other then I've got two sapphires that don't connect they're just going to close that out with the red garnet piece I don't know if uh, we'll see if that gets in the right order or not so as soon as I get here to this point All right, I locked it into place. And I've got the two. This is just where I make another loop. And I'm trying not to do that off camera. I'm sorry if I go off screen. Um, I know I'm out of focus. <sighs> Hashtag super pro. Because this here basically ends up being like right. Okay, so now here I am. We have that second loop. It it's it's pretty much going to be like this one here. I'm going to try to make it slightly smaller. Okay. Boom. Now, what I'm going to do here is... I'm going to do five wraps on the other side, but like you just judge this depending on the gemstone you're using. And it's just the same thing as I've shown the last time, the last like four times. All right, so we have the setup like this. You can see these are the middle. So there will be one on the side. I'm going to slightly adjust the one on the side which can be done just like that. Then, uh, we uh, had to find that real quick. And so we're going to shape 
this, like the others, it's really the same. Shit. Sorry guys, I thought I had hit the stop button. Anyway, we uh, make it somewhat roundish. I know it's not perfect. But then we just do the same thing. Put the gemstone up in it. Make sure it fits right. Sometimes it's easiest to do it so it's just flat face down. And then you close it up. Um, sometimes you'll need to slightly redirection. Do some redirect. Oh yeah, of course it breaks. Do a little bit of redirecting of some prongs. But I mean, this is the same same thing, guys. It's just where you put the extra hoops. And you can put these hoops anywhere. You can put like four of them. Um, I'm actually planning to do... Sorry guys, I, I do have another video playing in the background. But yeah, and here we are. And you guys know how the rest of this finishes out. So I just took a second to go through and um, make or file the backs of each of these little pieces. And so now we're going to go polish each and every one of them. We'll be back after. Here I am grinding away. I have been grinding away for hours now. Oh my god. Back to it. I almost forgot to take this little tidbit, but we just got done throwing it a patina on. One of these days I'll do a specific um, polishing patina video. But this one actually turned out cool. There's like rainbow blues in the patina itself. It's interesting. I'm going to have to play with that. Anyway, peace. I don't know why I'm saying peace, because I'll be back shortly. So at this point, what I am doing is I am connecting with jump rings. Also, um, I have measured out chain. Uh, a one and a half inch bit for here, and two, in, uh, two two and a half inch pieces course a couple uh connectors and i'm gonna connect them all and we're gonna be done with this thing 